Hey guys, I got a couple script t-shirts set aside to paint. I just wanted to show you my process and what I think about as I'm setting up these designs. It's nothing too fancy, it's nothing crazy, but I thought you might want to watch and follow along. Uh, so, so let's do it. Get my camera mark set up here. There's a couple things I want to you to notice about my letters as I do them. You don't have to do these, but I do them. Um, my words are going to be angled. They're going to be slanted. So. They all kind of go up a little bit. You don't have to do that, I do it. I want you also to notice that all my letters that are not ascender letters or descender letters are all at the same height and that all my letters are parallel as they're slanted. Uh, those are important things that really help the design come together. So let's, uh, let's do it. These aren't crazy. They're all individual orders. They're all the same design, if you will. Uh, same lettering styles, same background styles and all that, just different words and some different colors. Uh, let's see, Cameron the King. Ms. Butterworth, La Tigra, Great Great Nana June, and uh, JFK was an inside job. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and start over here. Nice and simple. I've already got my airbrushes all prepared. So Cameron the King is what we're writing here. To lay this out and to set this up, we got two important words. We have Cameron and King, and then we have the in the middle, which isn't quite as important. Um, I can fit that in after the fact. So I'm gonna write Cameron, then I'm gonna write King, and then I'm gonna fit the somewhere in the middle here. C-A-M apostrophe R-O-N. It's a lowercase. Oh. Cameron, and then I'm gonna put King. I'm gonna italicize King even more and try to accentuate it. And then the can fit in wherever. Now, drop shadows are my friend. I love some drop shadows. Shadows are great practice because it makes you go over the lines that you just did. Gives you a, a nice specific target to aim for with your painting. And it's a really simple and fast way to add some depth to your design and make it look a lot better. Um, if you're not good at them, be careful because it can really muddy up your design, make it hard to read. You'd never want your shadow to overwhelm your design. So keep that in mind. That's one. All right, next one, Ms. Buttersworth with a bunch of Z's in here, okay. B-U-T-T-E-R-Z-W-O-R-T-H. It's a very long word, so I'm gonna try to angle it so that it doesn't have a weird shaped rectangle in front of the shirt. Let's start Buttersworth, okay. Fix that later. M I Z Z on top. And again, drop shadows are your friend. Can you see at the end over there that TH kind of got my head goofed up and went in for an H here instead of the next letter? But we'll fix that. Okay. Moving on. La Tigra. La Tigra. We'll see. L A capital T I G R A. For a drop shadow, I just back away from the shirt a little bit so I get a softer line and I don't pull back nearly as much so I don't use as much paint. Just aim down a little bit and do the same thing as you did for the letters. Next one, Great Great Nana June. Um, great Great is going to be smaller, Nana, and then June is going to be the main word for the name here. So I'm going to accentuate that. Great Great, I'm actually going to curve Nana June. I'll start with great, great. M 
N A N A. And then June, capital J. Now notice my E I made way bigger, even though it's the same letter as the other ones, the same height. Um, that just helps round out the design. There's no reason you can't use bigger letters on the beginning and the end so that you kind of frame the design. You're not only looking at the shape of your letters individually, but you want to look at the shape of your design as a whole. The whole composition is important. So it takes a little bit of fore planning like I did. I laid out what I wanted to do first and then I executed it. Um, if you don't think about what your whole design is going to look like before you get started, you might get yourself in a hole and end up with a weird, wonky, unbalanced design, and you don't want that. And finally, JFK was an inside job. Okay, JFK, I'm going to write in a print style, was an inside job, all carry the same weight as words, was an inside job. Let's start here. was an inside job. When you're putting drop shadows on smaller letters, it might make more sense not to drop shadow the whole thing, right? So I'm not gonna put a shadow between every letter here. I'm only gonna put a shadow here and where it's here. So you don't want your shadow, again, to make your words hard to read or defeats the purpose. So don't overdo your shadows. All right. And that's the black, that's the layout of all these things. So all the backgrounds are real simple and real easy. I'll do one of them just to show you what we're gonna do, um, but I'm not gonna do all of them here. Royal blue, black, and gold. I'm gonna use the darker color, the blue, for this outline that I'm gonna do. And then we'll do the, the gold inside. This is the design they chose. The most classic, simple script background ever. You probably have done a bunch of these. The whole design calls for this outline around the whole word. And it's important when you're doing an outline like this that you keep the outline thickness consistent. You notice the gap between my letter and the outline is consistent everywhere. I don't have a really big gap over here and a small gap somewhere else. Everything's about the same. That's very important. Again, balance and composition of your artwork is, is fundamental. If your letters look great, but you can't balance the design or lay them out in a, a good way, then your design is going to look wonky. And likewise, if you have a well-designed, well-laid-out word, then you can get away with some, some less-than-perfect lettering. But these are pretty simple. I just wanted to show you what I go through, uh, show you the importance of laying out and some forethought in your design. Um, I'm gonna make a lot more videos like this. We're gonna get into more detail about script lettering and make some alphabets and things like that. We're going to do lots of fun things together. Please follow along, subscribe and watch more videos.